Hello there, grab a cup of water and get ready, because we are about to play some cards. Today we will try Slay the Spire, a combination of roguelike and a card game. Now, I, as an absolute expert in card games, have no doubt that this will be a journey without any misplays. You think I might be joking, right? Heck no, look at this map, I have already almost reached the big boss at the end of it. So I begin the battle with this boss, and let me give you a brief explanation of the rules. You draw cards in the beginning of each round. You play what you play, and then the stuff gets discarded. You draw some more, and when your deck doesn't have any more cards, you take the discard pile and it becomes your deck. So what can I do here? I will flex of course, fear my mighty flexing skills. Then I will have to resort to my bashing and striking skills to defeat this enemy. Now that is just how we, the experts in card games roll. And at this point you might be thinking, oh yeah, you just destroyed this boss, you got this easy peasy. To which I say, I may have won the battle, but the war is not yet over. I travel the harsh map, discovering new challenges and fighting my way through tough encounters. I take a rest, and there I am, once again fighting with a big bad dude. The champ they call him. And a champ he is, look at those hit points compared to mine. But I am not giving up, time to use all my knowledge and skills, and hopefully get a win. It's been an intense battle. Champ has 96 HP left, and next turn he will destroy me, with that triple attack. I have one turn to win, let's do this. Alright, maybe another time. 